<laughs> you both have had pretty impressive careers. What drew you to The Witch and taking this tiny project on? From my point of view, uh, all about the scripts. Mm -hmm. All about the scripts and the director. Uh, he's having the scripts and a notebook of some visual ideas of, of what he was looking for for the film. Um, and it just immediately struck me. I was immediately struck by the dilemmas that this character is in as a, as a father in 1630 taking his family across, across the Atlantic to set up in, in the US. And the, the kind of leap of faith that that is, I don't know, it resonated quite a lot with me just being a, a father of, of similar age kids and the, I don't know, the day-to-day -day <laughs> leap of being a self-employed actor. Um, <laughs> it kind of resonates with, with, the, with what was happening with the, with the family. So I immediately just... Yeah, it just clicked. Yeah. yeah, for me it was a script as well. I just thought, I've never read anything like this. It was like stepping into a completely different world. So real and visceral and raw. And then I was like, wow, I love this script. And then I went for an audition. Ralph had been cast already and I auditioned with Ralph. And we just, we were talking about this the other day. We, we kind of improvised a scene that's in the, the film. And we were literally shaking. Physically shaking. Yeah, the, the chemistry yeah. was great. It just worked. Mm -hmm. And um, meeting Rob as well, he is amazing. Amazing man. Yeah. I've never met anyone like him. He's so... I don't know what the word is. He's in inspiring um, just by his, his drive and his, his love of the material. Yeah. And his interest and the, the depths of the of the research and yeah. and the care and love that he has for the period and what he's what he's working on it it yeah. just inspires you blows yeah. you away. Yeah, the script is so unusual. Yeah, yeah I mean it's it's near Shakespearean. I yeah. Mean, how do you wrap your hand around that and getting getting those words out and making it work? Well, it's not so bad for us, I think, because we both studied Shakespeare and things, and I've done Shakespeare, I've done Greek tragedies, I've done things like that <clears throat> in theatre, so. It was so beautifully written, it just flowed, I didn't... It, it wasn't, didn't wasn't in any way a barrier, I think, no. it, you know, it sounds almost facetiously simplistic to say, but that's just the way the characters speak. It, it, yeah, it felt right, you know, it felt right that, that they should have that kind of biblical, yeah. kind of fire and brimstone edge to the to the language and it really helped. You know? Well, the mm. history too behind it. Mm. I mean, there's so much history and you were saying he does all this ca this research yeah. into it. What about you guys? Did you kind of delve into, were there stories that affected you that helped you get into these guys? Yeah, I mean, I just started looking at, like Rob sent us a lot of research that we could look at. And then one of the things I did was because Catherine does a lot of praying, constantly praying. And I didn't, you know, it just said Catherine praying at the scene, Catherine, you know. And I thought, okay, I don't want to mumble nothing. And also, I have to be very careful if I say anything. So I actually went back to a Puritan. I became obsessed with this Puritan prayer book that you can get. And literally went through and go, okay, which Puritan prayer would suit this scene? And I learned just little bits. But I found, like, went through, pray, okay, this would suit when she's pleading about, you know, William or this would. So this is what I did and I found prayers. So I got slightly obsessed with Puritan prayers, basically. Mm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you playing the matriarch of this family? And it's less less of the uh, of that of that kind of research. It was the the script and the and the characters I could say resonated very much in a very modern way mm. for me as as well. Mm -hmm. Um the 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 periods the period work was kind of almost done for us with the yeah. amazing costume, all the, the work that, that Rob had done in all the various different departments. So, from my point of view, it was about making making that real connection with the the humans, with the mm -hmm. with the people, rather than you know the historical detail had been been researched for me. So. And I had to really look at what it would be like to be a Puritan mother. Yeah. And you know the kind of modern day thinking, or the way you communicate, or the things you would say, just weren't. There was a lot of rules of how Catherine would be as a, a mother, a Puritan mother. And to be honest, I'm not a great Puritan in the movie because I allow so much to affect me. You know, I should be accepting of these things and accepting of God's will. And a lot of the issue for Catherine, why she's so, so can't cope is because the baby wasn't baptised, mm. so mm. for me, you know, this was a big issue between yeah. us because you yeah. put it off and I wanted him baptised and I feel he's in this hell and I can't, 
I just can't live with it, I can't. And then there's issues with Thomason becoming a woman and I'm losing my womanhood and <gasps> so many things. the roles things. within the Puritan family, yeah. and the, the, the way that the, the, the mother is, is, or the wife is, is, is in charge of the whole yeah. the domestic Yeah, however, I always have to, yeah. should refer to my husband always. Who is God's appointed. God's appointed, yeah. Uh, within the family on earth. Yeah, know, so, so there was so. a lot of things to think about to make sure you didn't be modern even when you were speaking and things, you know, you had to be very careful of the way you moved or looked or, you know, things like that. It was pretty specific. But again, still to to do that, find those rules, but find a way to relate to a modern audience, yeah. relate these characters and these relationships they had. And, and it is, I think it is, because even though it's so period and it's a specific time, it is a family falling apart, you yeah. know? And all the dynamics and the blaming and the, the, the kind of things that start going on, the suspicions, it, to me it feels like a really modern story yeah. that just happens to have characters that are, mm. you know, I don't know how to explain it.